our viewers of uh, TV Herald a very warm welcome. You are witnessing a special program on health and that is entitled Health and Happiness. Both are the two sides of the same coin. If one is not uh, healthy, will you be happy? And that's where the question lies that uh, many a people now they have got a lot of health problems and they are not uh, happy at all. There are some problems that are occurring now very often and one is the problem of diabetes. It is rampant. It is all over the world. It was an original problem in America. Then uh, India is not uh, lagging behind. China also has and uh, all the nations have uh, people with uh, diabetes. What is diabetes? Is it reversible now? Because there's a new school of thought which says that you do X, Y, Z and uh, maybe you can control it better. So how to live with uh, diabetes? And this uh, program is basically living happily with uh, diabetes living happily with diabetes because very often people who do not take proper care early care they have a, they are a amputation of the leg they suffer more of heart attacks strokes kidney problems and so on and so forth often people who have this big problem they are never happy some have died i know many of my friends close friends who died because of uncontrolled diabetes. How can you live happily with a diabetes? This is a new program and uh, this program has already been launched in Goa and uh, we have an expert who has been propagating this message and he is none other than Dr. Celso Fernandez uh, from Margao. Yes. Welcome Dr. Celso. Thank you. Thank you, Juvitu. Dr. Celso, you have published this book now, Living Happily with Diabetes. Yes. Let's go from a start. How do you define or what is this diabetes? Well, good evening, friends. Actually speaking, the thing is, I have also realized that diabetes is not a disease. It is basically a disorder. And basically, it's more of a lifestyle disease. The main cause is basically improper food habits, uh, lack of the diet not controlling properly and lack of exercise. And nowadays we have seen most of the people becoming less lethargic or more lethargic, I should say. And because of that, there's a lot of uh, what I could say, the complications have done with diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. So it is a lifestyle problem. It's more of a lifestyle problem. And I think most of us now are aping the West. We have the Western type of uh, diet. And uh, do you think it's creating a very big problem? Definitely. It's 100% causing it because the way the food stuff is done, most of processed food, then all the natural food is actually being omitted. Like even today, what we have seen is as far as the lunch, dinner and all the way people have been having food, it is not controlled at all. So the message is very simple. You, you don't have to do something, uh, you know, uh, much, much uh, different. You follow a certain regimen and then you can. That is true. In fact, I'll tell you one thing what I've noticed as far as the diabetic patients are concerned. The main cause of diabetes is laziness. Most of the diabetic patients are lazy. So it is a sedentary life. It is sedentary life and plus even to come forward like now see we have started these diabetic clubs all over Goa. What we have noticed is diabetic people usually stay absent from exercises but the non-diabetic come more. And, yeah. and finally, when we did most of their blood tests and checked their entire program, what we saw is many Goans have got very high cholesterol. Sugar levels are under control most of the cases, but many have got high cholesterol. Because heart attack is another very big problem. Yes. In the uh, United States, it's the number one killer disease. Definitely. And they say that every 34 seconds, there is somebody who is suffering from heart attack. Definitely. And even in Goa, it is there because if we have done uh, this uh, free blood sugar testing camps. And at all these camps, even if we test around 100, on an average, you'll get at least 45 to 50 who are diabetic. And most of them are not even aware that they are diabetic. Yes, but uh, normally they say that uh, you come first into pre-diabetic uh, stage. Yes. And most people ignore. 
Yeah, they ignore it because what happens is unless and until there is a crisis, no one takes action. So previous, uh, most of the patients who are there, what we have seen is they try to control and delay it as much as possible. But once you start getting the signs, especially like weakening of the eyes, like blurry vision or frequent urination, all these small signs and symptoms, then by chance they lined up. But what we have seen is all the hospital admissions, you just go to any hospital in Goa, 90% will be diabetic. 90%? And 10% yes. accidental. That is pretty high. It is almost 90% of all the hospital admissions are diabetic patients. And I think for that reason, the government is now giving free medicines to control diabetes. Yes, but just giving free medicines doesn't make impact. Like I'll give you an example. Now, whenever a, a patient goes to the doctor, the doctor will say, you please go and do at least one kilometer walk. For a person to go and do a one kilometer walk alone is very difficult. But when it comes in a group, like even doing exercise, what we have seen in Living Happily with Diabetes Clubs, Doing exercise in a group relieves almost 80% of your stress. And group exercises make much better than individual exercise. Like you tell me to do exercise at home, even for 5-10 minutes, maximum I can concentrate is for about 10 minutes. But when it's in a group, you can do even for one hour, even one and a half hour, there's no issue at all. And we have seen this group exercises is actually bringing 80% of healing, more because of socializing. So that unity among the members, because what we have seen in our diabetic clubs, you can say almost around 50% are actually due to depression and isolation at home, no company. And especially after COVID, all the senior citizens, they usually don't move out of the house. So as far as possible, they have more sedentary lifestyle. And that is how we decided to bring them back out, let them do this group exercises and we monitor their sugar levels and we can see that it has made a big impact. You have been uh, working uh, during the COVID times. Yes. What was the scenario? The scenario was, see, whichever cases we handled, like in Margaon especially, we were associated with South Goa District Hospital as well as the ESI Hospital. What we used to notice is, whenever the patients were brought, they was usually were brought at the last stages. And if they had diabetes, within, you can say, even three to four hours, they used to collapse and they used to die. But those who were non-diabetic at least showed higher resistance. And so their, their survival rate would be much, much better. higher. Much higher for those who are non-diabetic. And then I was just trying to analyze why and go to see diabetic people who are lazy or lethargic people, their lung capacity shrinks because they don't take deep breaths. Their breath is very short. So even if they climb up 10 steps, they start pending. They are not able to climb up steps. They are not even able to walk for more than uh, say 50 meters or so because they immediately start pending. And this is because of lack of exercise. So your strategy is very simple. That's what, because the thing is what I've found out is if you just take care, make a group, this group therapy has worked a lot, even as far as diet is concerned. Like I'll tell you, a doctor tells a patient not to have non-veg. I'm 100% sure they'll still have non-veg. But when the group decides not to have non-veg for Lent, everybody takes the thing more seriously because they are all group members. But individually to take the decision is very difficult. So we talk about diabetes. Are there different types of diabetes? Yes. See, the most common one everybody knows is type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is basically like a hereditary and it is like congenital. Mostly the young children and some those who are wherein the organs themselves are defective, so the insulin production is less. So in those cases, you cannot avoid insulin. So you need to take uh, the injection. In injections. So those are very less cases. Like out of 100, you might get one or two of That's them. That's all. That's all. Yes, as far as type 1. So the majority is... Are type 2. What is this type 2 that Type 2 talking? is basically the weaknesses which are formed due to secretion of insulin, not uh, much, or there is insulin resistance. So these two things can be there. But what happens is there are genetic factors also because there are many people who are genetically predisposed. But once you know that there is a chance of getting it genetically, you can easily control it with diet and exercise. So that means if your father and mother, they had type 2, what are the chances of their children getting it also? That's what, those cases, the children are definitely predisposed to getting it faster at a younger age. And normally if parents are diabetic, even the, the children say by age of 25, 30, already can start getting diabetes because it's born in the genes. Because it's like, what you can say, like a software in the body. It is already tuned to that disc. But if you can control it, and if you are aware about it, then automatically you can keep under control. There is no issues at all. Main thing is, actually speaking, it should not be made easy for the body by just giving medicines. If you don't do exercise, even if you take medicines, still your diabetes will go up. So your exercise is a must? 100% and diet control. 
and third of course is stress if the stress level is good means in the sense the stress you are under control diabetes can be controlled easily because one cause of diabetes or secretion of the hormones especially the thing the cause of diabetes also so you need to take care of your stress levels and where the stress level comes is when you come in a group it reduces but yes. when you do it alone it doesn't have so that much so you effect. enhance your social life that is true because social life is required because man is of course a social animal so if you don't have that social contacts then there's nothing to share with so that this concept what we have started is basically bring them together and group as it's like how we have alcoholic anonymous i'm sure you must be knowing yes. about it that uh, group therapy was the best way of reducing that now diabetes is also the same thing And is it is it a very big problem in goa now let's definitely. let's not talk of india but uh, in goa definitely in goa it is actually more rampant than any other place is because it? of the food lifestyle and especially with the non veg food the oils that we use and especially having like say sorpotel pork and all these things definitely it makes a big impact yeah now you talked about uh, two problems associated with uh, your pancreas it yes. produces insulin what are more or less uh, those problems see basically as far as diabetes is concerned it is basically divided into just three categories one thing is your nerves start becoming weak which means automatically you start getting numbness you start getting the, the sensation reduces then of course is the eyes wherein the weakness on the blind i mean so the eyesight starts reducing and you start getting this blurry vision and of course the last is the kidneys the kidneys get affected very fast so uh, there are more people now going into dialysis yes there are so many in fact now the waiting list also each dialysis center and luck unfortunately in goa we don't have that many dialysis centers but if you check and see in south goa district hospital even kankon you know there are huge number of patients doing it almost every day so with a uh, good uh, preventive measures and especially exercise and diet do you think it can be controlled or reversed definitely it can and we have seen and we can show you evidence also because this program we had started and launched in kavilosim in august 2021 and purposely what we had done is we had taken their hba1c levels and we had recorded and maintained an excel sheet so you need to do certain blood tests yes the blood tests are important and especially for diabetics you have to check your kidney function first then your liver function then your sugar levels of course and cholesterol levels so now do you undertake this test yes all done free of course for the members it is, is done it? through nerve so, mark so, foundation so you are giving them at home yes and but only thing is we don't do this free test for everybody except for members who are ready to come for exercise so so they have to be part of your of program group, that is true because what happens is whenever we say there's a free test everybody will come but when we call them for exercise no one comes So what we have seen is, whenever we start a club, first we will do it for one month. Then, based on the attendance, those many tests are done free. Do you monitor? Yes, we have the records regularly. We have the records right from 2021, and we have seen how the records are. That's why I'm saying, when I've checked it, what we have noticed, people who come for exercises are more of non-diabetic, but with high cholesterol, because diabetic people are still not coming. Because even when we do a test and we find that these people are diabetic. they will always have excuses to join for the exercise they are ready to take anything else even if you have to take 10 tablets they don't mind taking 10 tablets but exercise last option normally people go for this uh, uh, blood test uh, on uh, fasting yes and if something is detected they go for the test post prandial yes but you talked about hb1ac yeah what is this that is the average blood sugar level taken over a period of 3 months So this is a new test which has come, which can give you the average readings. It wasn't there many years ago, or was it? No, it is already there for quite some time. Is it? And everyone knows that up to six level is normal. Anything above six starts becoming dangerous. And there But are many uh, are these tests available? Say, for example, the Goa Medical College. Yes, Goa Medical College also has it. Plus, we have it at the, uh, this uh, Azilo Hospital. Now we have it at OSPCO, means uh, South Goa District Hospital. Even in Ponda, and now to some extent. even cases in kankon are given this test actually all the primary health centers offer this test totally free so do you have any collaboration with uh, the primary centers yes. and the hospitals we have actually donated two machines in the last uh, year of costing 6 lakhs each one we have put it at phc kandolim and one we have given in margaon in imperial hospital so now with the tie up that we had with them all the members of the living happily with diabetes clubs are tested once in every 6 months for all the parameters and so every 6 months you have to yes, undertake the test, the test. Yes. because we need to keep a control and we need to know whether there is improvement or not 
So, so you talked about uh, setting up clubs. Yes. These clubs, uh, what do they do? See, basically, it's a uh, getting together of people who are prone to getting diabetes, and we only require a premises where you can do this ex yoga exercises or even the so normal. So you, you you resort to yoga exercises. Yes, because yoga is very very effective as far as controlling stress is concerned, as well as as far as your muscular pain and all this kind, like back pains, then the shoulder pain, knee joint pains, everything can be cured through this. Basically, yoga is uh, breathing therapy. Yeah, breathing is one part of it. Yes. But if you do like uh, the exercises which are there, like Surya Namaskar, then Bajrangasana, all these yogas, they can easily cure your body completely because the flexibility increases and the most important is doing it in a group. Otherwise, it's very difficult to do it alone. Uh, you said you started in 2021. 21, yeah, in August. And today we are now in 2023. From one then? Today, actually, we have started all together 29 clubs, but out of which four we had to close down because of lack of attendance. Because we don't fund a club where the attendance is less than 10 members. So minimum we require on an average for the yoga sessions is 15. Now, you talked about yoga. Is there somebody who teaches them yes. and monitors the uh, exercises in yoga? For each club, we have one yoga trainer who we are paying the salaries. So you pay? Yes. And, and the, the, the person goes and... And uh, he conducts the sessions. And for uh, uh, how many days a week that you Thrice have? a week. It's thrice a week. Thrice a week. But if they want, can they have every day? They can have it every day, but the problem is then the funding becomes slightly more. And actually, they can practice it at home also. Because what happens is these yoga sessions, when you do it in a group is totally different. When you do it individually at home is different. So we tell them, try doing it at home on the other days. So they can do it, but most of them don't do. They only wait for those days of the exercises. But uh, how successful you have been with most of the clubs now? The response has been terrific. We have got a lot of testimonials. In fact, the best part of it was, I don't know whether you have watched Carnival this time. For the first time in the history, a diabetic float was presented for this carnival. What do you mean by diabetic float? Wherein on the tableau we showed what are the causes of diabetes, like having a Coke with the burger and all the pizzas and all. And on the uh, street, all our diabetic club members participated in the float for almost four hours walking. So they right could, they could walk end. for four hours. That's what And I, they have been diabetic. Uh, yes. And plus dancing on the road. Is it? We have the videos on our YouTube channel. You can see the crowd. And of course, uh, the Margam one was the biggest with 180 members. 180 80 members. members. More than half the crowd of the float was only of our members. And uh, when you talk about uh, yoga exercises, are they accepted uh, all over? Yes. Uh, most there are some yes. people who have uh, little yes. apprehensions. No, it's basically some people who put religion into it, especially so far we had objections only with regards to Surya Namaskar. That is some of the religious uh, people have told us that, okay, you are worshipping the sun. So that we are not supposed to do. So then in those cases, we have avoided Surya Namaskar, but we have done all the other exercises. That is the only objection which we have received till now. So wherever there are a few problems here and there, that you we can sort it out. You sort it out. You sort it out. Yes. But exercise, what about walking? What would you say? Okay. Now walking exercise also, like when you do it in the group, it's different. But when you do it individually, because sometimes what we have noticed is many people who are actually overweight, if they do a walking exercise regularly, their knee problem starts immediately because there is a problem with the knees also. So you have to take care of the knees. So you are taking care of every aspect. Yes, that also we tend to. And now currently now during this Lent season, we have started one contest, which is called as Flab to Fabulous, which is basically a weight loss competition. So, uh, so uh, uh, do you think people follow this concept? Yes. Fab to yes. fabulous. Very much. In fact, you'll come to know after Easter how many of them have lost more than three kgs of weight. So are they very serious? Definitely. And many of them have actually improved quite a lot. You can see the difference. Because normally the propensity of uh, diabetes and overweight, it is related. It is related, definitely. Because see, overweight automatically is because of laziness. So when there is no activity, definitely that obesity starts. And people who are like obese and all to do exercise is very difficult. But now you won't imagine, I myself could not believe that so many of them who are obese are coming and joining us for the exercises. And it has made a big impact. Like now even we, as a group, we just gave like a hot water therapy, wherein you drink three glasses of hot water after every meal. And you won't imagine that has itself created an impact. What, what, what exactly is this hot uh, water therapy? Yeah, see, after you have say your lunch or you have your dinner, if by chance within 10 to 15 minutes you can have just a glass of hot water instead of having fridge water. 
digestion happens much faster and plus that coagulation stops. This is a very uh, easy step uh, to be taken. Yes, but the thing no one does, everyone prefers fridge water. It's a, it's a lifestyle again. It's That's a, what? It's a, it's a lifestyle. So that lifestyle has to be changed because everything is happening because of lifestyle. Like where we cook now, now everything is... Yeah, it's, it's a ready-made, it's a fast food. Fast food. Yeah. So that is creating a big impact. But then the sicknesses increase and your bills also start increasing. Because let me tell you, once you have diabetes and you start with any one complication, like any complication, it can be a wound, it can be a stroke, it can be anything. Then you are the patient throughout life. So once you have no control over it, it becomes very difficult. And uh, why do you think Goans uh, are more prone now for diabetes? Because less of fact, uh, means actually physical activity has reduced. Yes. Mobile has taken over. Everybody has now two cars, I believe. That's all. So the mobility has reduced and main is the diet has changed. The olden days, the diet was much different as compared to what it is now. So because of this dietary changes and because of the lifestyle changes, it's definitely increasing. So if you change the lifestyles and you adopt uh, this mantra of exercise, can you reduce it? Can you control it? Or what is Definitely. it? Definitely. See, out of 24 hours a day, if you cannot give one hour for your own body, then your body will get automatically disheartened. So you have to make your body exercise. So at least for one hour out of 24 hours, if you concentrate on exercise, your next 23 hours becomes fresh. But if you don't do it, then it becomes worse. Your 24 hours also go waste. Because now they have been talking about the sitting disease. Because most people with the yes. computer and all that, they are more prone for sitting rather than walking. Yeah, that is true. But because of that, only I'm saying there's no lack of physical exercise. So unless and until there's physical... They say that the bodies are made for walking or moving. Definitely. That is how it should be. But now what happens because like during COVID time, what I noticed is the breathing patterns also have changed. Even the capacity of the lungs has reduced because we don't exert. It's, see, lungs is basically like a balloon. Now, when the balloon is stretched, automatically the capacity increases. But when you don't stretch it only, then it becomes lazy. So when the lungs are lazy, automatically your breathing starts becoming less. Yeah. Normally, the Christians, the Catholics especially, they observe this length of season and they say no meat on Wednesdays, Friday, Friday. But now it is not so rigid. So shouldn't it be followed to the letter and spirit? If you want to take care of your health, actually it's a part of health. But unfortunately, it's taken more on the religious side. But that is, there's always a connection in that. So if all the religions have a fasting period. Yes, they have. Whether it is Hindus, whether it's Catholics, whether it's Muslim, there is always a fasting period of almost 40 days. Whether it is Shravan, whether it is the our land, or even for the Muslims also. It's almost there. Everybody has to do fasting. So this was there with certain objective in mind. That's true. Which I think people did not understand at all. That is the main thing. Okay. So now we need to change it. And how to change is only through group therapy. So you said how many groups you have uh, As of set now, up now, active ones are 25, but we had set up total 29, out of which four we have closed down because of lack of attendance. So as of now, 25 active with more than 900 members. 900 members. And what is your objective in uh, setting up these clubs? It's basically improving health of our individuals, especially Goans. We want that Goans should start becoming healthy. And especially the senior citizens, because they are the ones who don't get any attention. But when you bring them in the group, definitely they will start uh, having much better lifestyle and social life. And this is what uh, my this is basically more for towards the senior citizens and even the people who are like housewives and all who can actually come and join in this. Normally they say after 60, 60 plus, they are more prone. Yes, definitely. Uh, is this the same trend or now youngsters are also? Youngsters, definitely. There are so many of them who are diabetic now. And Youngsters? Yes, even at 25. We have done blood tests and we have checked. And they never realized that they had this And they problem. will never like to show also that they are diabetic. Because what happens is only when they reach in the crisis. Like but it's too late sometimes. Yes, and especially when you get a wound and it doesn't heal, then the problem starts. Yes, mostly I have seen people, they said I had a, a problem in my foot and it was not healing. Then you start chopping one toe, second, third, and you end up with... Uh, that is <coughs> the worst thing you can see. And all because of the lack of hygiene and especially control on diet. So that means education is uh, very important. Actually speaking, I'll tell you, even education is not... Uh, we have done quite a lot of uh, diabetic seminars and all awareness programs are done. But it doesn't work unless and until you do it in a group. So this is more of a group therapy that That's you true. have. 
And uh, do people uh, come voluntarily? Yes, the, you can see the attendance and you can see the way they are enjoying these programs. Because I myself was not believing that I would be able to do such a thing in Goa. But after having been, say, a member of Lions Club now for the last 30 years, what I've noticed is we were only doing diabetic detection camps. Yes. But there has never been a follow-up. So I said I have to do something in that regard. So it was not very effective uh, in terms of uh, curtailing the numbers. That's true. So when did you realize this? Right from the time I was there in Lions and we were doing a lot of activities. But then luckily now because I have my own foundation, so now we are able to do it because we have the funds what to do it. What is the foundation that you have launched? Novemar Foundation is basically the charitable arm of Novemar Financial Services. Now, we are into financial services wherein we handle mutual funds, life insurance and general insurance. And through that, we earn something called renewal commission or trail commission. And this commission is basically a passive income. And for me, uh, since I've already reached to that level where everything is achieved, with this passive income, I can actually do a lot for the society. So, how do you make time for all this? Basically, I'll tell you. See, where there's passion, you don't have to make time. Time comes automatically. Only thing, if you don't love it, then you don't have time. Because I have noticed it even in my practice, if you do something that you love, you don't even mind working 25 hours a day. But if you are doing something which you don't like, then you will not do it. And especially with the motivation that we get from our senior citizens and our members, wherein they say that, yes, doctor, you have changed our lives. That itself is a motivation to do more. So, uh, how many clubs do you intend uh, setting up finally? There's no limit, but let's see how many we can do it because this year actually will be our third year actually. Uh, on 14th of November, we always have our diabetic conclave. So we had it in 2021. That time we were only five clubs and we had total 180 registration. In 2022, we had 20 clubs with more than 400 registrations. Now we are already on 25 clubs, active clubs. But I'm sure by this November, we should cross at least 40 to 50. You are, you are absolutely very, very happy with your program. Definitely. Of course, there's a big uh, satisfaction that I can see. it. But and it's a big challenge. And let me tell you, I myself was diabetic because my HbA1 in 2021 was 9.3. Today, I have brought it. It has never gone above 6.2. So, you are uh, uh, normalized. I have lost weight for the last one year. Anybody will tell you. Yes. Because uh, from 96 coming down to 84 now. It is a big... So, uh, basically, we need to pass on this message to more true. and more people and uh, create awareness that's and what. then get people involved in groups, as you said. That's what. <coughs> it can be anywhere. Yes. It can be even the panchayats. Like many of the panchayats have caught, uh, given us the halls free. Is it? Many of them. Even the parishes have given us the halls free. Some of the clubs have given us. So, they don't charge us for the hall charges. We only pay for the yoga trainer salaries. And, of course, the blood test. So, there's lots that uh, we have to learn. We also have to find out how you go about what <coughs> if somebody wants to set up the club. Uh, we will be talking maybe at some other time. Yes. But, uh, Dr. Celso, you have been doing a wonderful Thank job. <laughs> God will definitely bless you because this is part of health and happiness, what you are doing. And you are doing it on a voluntary basis. You need to be appreciated Thank for the you. wonderful work that you have undertaken. May Thank God bless you and keep on doing uh, this uh, program. Ultimately, living happily with the diabetes is something a new concept because people said once you are a diabetic, you are diabetics forever, forever. And then you end up with all the complications. Thank you very much, Dr. Celso. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you.